If I tell you Fedora is adopting something, it's reasonable to ask whether or not it's a tad too early for other distros to do so. Fedora has a very long history of being a very early adopter. In a lot of cases, a little bit too early, or in others, a lot a bit too early. But what about when Ubuntu makes a change? Now, Ubuntu is not the fastest of the fast, but they're also not the slowest of the slow. They move considerably faster than something like Debian, for example. But when a change is made on Ubuntu, that change is suddenly in front of the largest audience on the Linux desktop. So you better hope that whatever change is made, that change is ready for prime time. And recently, the roadmap for Ubuntu 24.10 got released, and a lot of this I just don't really care about. A lot of it is just like, ooh, it's gonna be polished, ooh, there'll be more snaps, there'll be more flutter. But I do care about Wayland. It goes without saying that Ubuntu Desktop will continue to target the latest and greatest GNOME release, supported by the addition of our tiling and performance enhancements. In Ubuntu 24.10, we're also planning to take the plunge and switch to Wayland by default for those with NVIDIA graphics cards. This is a big change. There are still a few known issues with this combination, and due to the heavy use of Ubuntu Desktop in AI slash ML, VFX, and other industries, we concluded that it was too early to make that switch in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. That list has now shrunk to a number that makes us feel confident in enabling it in the upcoming interim release and give us the time to discover and resolve any additional unknown unknowns ahead of Ubuntu 26.04 LTS. For quite a while now, there has been a lot of rumors floating around regarding 26.04 and Wayland, but I don't think they've ever actually explicitly used this release in any of their official announcements. What a lot of people think is this is going to be the version where they go full Wayland. I don't mean Wayland by default. We're already doing Wayland by default now. I mean full Wayland, no Xorg being shipped. It is still a matter of time to see if this is actually going to happen or not, but this is the first step in that direction. First, you want to go full default Wayland on both NVIDIA and non-NVIDIA cards. If everything seems stable, everyone seems happy enough, if it seems like there aren't that many issues and hopefully no major blocking issues, then you can make the next step because if they go full Wayland, no Xorg on an LTS release, there are people that are going to be using that for up to 10 years. So you want to make sure that what is shipping today is actually ready. And if I'm right that this is the direction they are going, I really hope this means that Canonical employees are going to get a lot more involved in improving Gnome and improving Wayland, because I do see a lot of Red Hat people in both of these repos. And there are some canonical people, but if I'm being honest, most of the canonical people are people from Mer. And that's great. Mer is great. But, like, that's not what Ubuntu is shipping on the desktop right now. It's not to say there are zero canonical people in these repos, but there's not that many of them. Now, that is a problem for the future. The problem now is defaulting to Wayland on NVIDIA GPUs on Ubuntu 24.10. Is it ready? Now, the process of Ubuntu swapping to Wayland has been kind of a slow one. They originally attempted to do this way back in 17.10. They were going to be doing full default Wayland. AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. As you might know, if you've used Ubuntu in the years since then, they did not default in 17.10 because the only people that thought it was ready then were developers who didn't do anything besides open a web browser and open a text editor. So much other stuff was completely broken. So the actual swap to default Wayland, at least on AMD and Intel GPUs, that was done in 21.04. I think for AMD and Intel, 2021 was maybe a little bit too early. I would have waited just a tad bit longer but NVIDIA was a very different beast. Now, NVIDIA in 2017, you were going to be struggling getting basic things like hardware acceleration in X Wayland working. It was definitely not going to happen back then. Even back in 2021, 
even though it was a very different situation, and by then, a lot of things had improved, NVIDIA still had this reputation of being very, very bad on Wayland. And that reputation still exists today. It is slowly shaking it, though. People on the newer cards are having a much different experience than people on things like the 10 series or going old than that. But even so, NVIDIA GPUs still do have a consistent problem. That being stuttering due to the lack of explicit sync support. Now, this is a race condition, so some users are seeing it, other users are not. If you have a good experience, that's good for you, but a lot of other people, because of the stutter, Wayland was basically unusable. This is getting resolved. In fact, on the newest drivers, is actually going to be resolved. I did a video on this at the time, but a few weeks ago, Explicit Sync got merged into Wayland. And not just upstream Wayland protocols, but in Kwin, Mutter, I believe WL Roots also has it merged as well. So basically, pretty much every desktop that is going to be Wayland is going to have support for Explicit Sync. The only part being waited on was the NVIDIA drivers adding support for the Wayland way of doing this. This was supposed to release on May 15th, but developers are really bad at estimating timeframes. This ended up being delayed, but it didn't get delayed for that long because just today, as I'm recording this, NVIDIA 555 enters beta. This has support for explicit sync. Now, a lot of distros are not yet going to have these drivers, but this is the driver that System76 was banking on for Cosmic. This is the driver that Ubuntu is banking on for doing this swap. Everybody is banking on this driver for explicit sync support. I don't have an NVIDIA GPU to test this myself, but from the people who do, it seems like in its current state, this fixes the problem. No more flickering, no more old frames, it's finally over. Now, you do still have the issue that the drivers are proprietary, but at least they work and they're proprietary, <laughs> you know? At least you get one win there. It is great to see the proprietary drivers actually becoming good, right? Actually becoming working drivers, but it's not just the proprietary space that's getting better. The open source drivers are actually becoming something you might want to consider using. A while back, we got support for the GSP firmware in Novo. This brought back basic functionality like reclocking the GPU, allowing the drivers to actually work because NVIDIA moved all this basic functionality into this weird firmware blob. Also, we have Vulkan support in the open source drivers thanks to NVK. Now, gaming on these open source drivers still isn't perfect, right? NVK is ready for prime time, they still need to be improved, and they are going to get better. But you actually can consider the open source drivers as something that might actually make sense, and they're only going to make more and more sense going forward. Obviously, if you need things like CUDA, well, you're going to be stuck with the proprietary drivers. All of that is the NVIDIA GPU stuff. But there is a reason why on a 24.04 and 24.10, Xorg is still being shipped as a fullback. There are still general Wayland and Gnome Wayland issues that need to be addressed. For example, we have a system for doing desktop capture. This has been available for three, four years now, and there are still applications like Discord which do not support screen sharing. Why? There's no reason for it. None at all. If you run Discord in the browser, you can screen share because the browser supports the capture solution, but the standalone app doesn't. There is still the issue with global hotkeys. KD has a workaround solution by using X Wayland, but there's supposed to be a better solution. That's supposed to be the portal, and the portal exists. It's in upstream, 
but GNOME has not implemented the hotkey portal on their side. And basically no applications have implemented the portal from their side either. So GNOME doesn't support the portal. The applications don't support the portal. Nobody's using the portal, but the solution can be there. As for the GNOME stuff, GNOME still does not support server-side decorations, as in GNOME adding window decorations to a window. Every application has to do their own window decorations if they want to work properly on GNOME. This is something that is not going to be fixed because the GNOME devs don't want it to be fixed. They think CSD is the way forward. They are wrong, and no matter how many devs tell them they are wrong, they're not going to change their mind about it. There is also ongoing accessibility issues. Accessibility was very poor on X11. It was basically written like 15 plus years ago and sort of held together with hopes and dreams. And then the swap to Wayland kind of breaks those hopes and dreams and it all falls apart. Screen readers are a very big problem on GNOME Wayland and even the GNOME developers admits this is an area that seriously needs to be addressed. I think a big part of addressing this is going to be getting the global hotkey stuff working, and I know there are people working on fixing this problem. This is why Xorg has not been dropped just yet, and I feel like this is going to be one of those blocking issues that completely stops GNOME itself dropping Xorg until it actually gets properly resolved. Then you have the issue with DRM leasing, the reason why VR headsets and VR gaming is completely broken running under GNOME. To my surprise though, there is some very recent hope. I need to get my DRM leasing video out at some point, but we have a good change. We have this change from Jose Exposito, I guess is how you say that. It, apologies, I'm terrible with names. Add Wayland DRM lease protocol support. There is a lot of feedback that is happening with this, a lot of improvements that need to happen, so it may not make it into the next release of GNOME. But it is very possible that this is finally actually going to be done. Now that was just the shortlist. There are a bunch of other problems with Wayland and GNOME Wayland, but we're not going to be here all day. These are the issues that I personally find the most important, and I'm probably biased, but it is what it is. With Ubuntu making this change, this puts a lot more people onto Wayland, and my hope is it lights an even bigger fire under the developers, and hopefully some of these ongoing issues actually start being resolved in a timely fashion. I don't just mean with the upstream GNOME people, I mean canonical people working on these problems, I mean Red Hat people working on these problems, I mean people in the Wayland upstream protocol discussions actually getting a lot of these protocols resolved because the deadline for Xorg is coming up very, very soon. It's still like a couple of years away, but it's pretty soon. And there are problems that still need to be addressed. Hopefully by the time the majority of people are on Wayland, we're not still talking about Wayland issues, and it kind of becomes like Linux gaming, where that's not really an interesting topic because it just works. We are not there yet, but we are getting closer and closer to that day every single day. And then we discover new issues and go back about 10 steps. But it is what it is. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think NVIDIA Wayland is actually ready? Obviously, have you tried the 555 drivers yet? If you haven't, be sure to try them because from what I'm seeing, it massively improves the experience. If they still suck, hey, they still suck. Let me know that as well. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of them, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, Libera Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and maybe one day I'll actually buy an NVIDIA card.